time to check in with Jeff Beamish once again, find out what's happening with our weather and traffic. And Jeff, what a wacky stretch of weather in the 50s this morning, and we could kiss the 90s this weekend. A serious flirtation, wow. Sean. Yeah, and we have yet to hit 90 degrees this month. Last time we went an entire October sans 90 degree weather. Yours truly was seven months old. Have to go back to 1984. Live look outside with our news for Tucson Sky. Ned Cam over at Speedway and Country Club. Mostly sunny for the morning rush. Mid 50s now. Low 80s later today. Seasonably warm this afternoon. Daytime highs right on par with where we should be for this time of year. Upper 70s, low 80s across Metro Tucson. That'll be followed up with your nighttime lows in the mid to upper 50s for the lower elevations of eastern Pima County. Into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon, south and east of town. Mid 80s out to the west in Cells and Ajo. Hey, just a heads up, some dense fog developing in portions of Cochise County. In fact, ADOT reporting heavy fog along I-10 between Benson and Wilcox. So expect reduced visibility if you're jumping on the interstate driving across Cochise County this morning. In fact, that visibility now down to a mile in Douglas. So that dense fog is also extending down the Sulphur Springs Valley toward Elfrida and Douglas should burn off once we get to about 8, 9 o'clock this morning for our friends south and east of town. Here is where the storm system from yesterday is currently spinning over New Mexico, heading out of here. We're on the back side of it, and that's going to lead to a drying trend for the remainder of the week and upcoming weekend. Replacing that storm system, a big dome of high pressure that's sliding in from the Pacific. It'll be nearly overhead for the weekend. That's going to drive our daytime highs into the upper 80s, possibly low 90s. Not going to rule out an outside shot at hitting 90 both Saturday and Sunday. It'll be a very close call, but officially right now our forecast keeps us under that 90 degree mark between now and early next week. Speaking of next week, long range models hinting at yet another storm system potentially moving in around Halloween. Exact details unclear this far out. Right now we expect cloud cover to gradually increase and daytime highs to cool off between Monday and Tuesday.